Hello everyone, this is Youth the Dragon, and welcome back to another episode of Fire Emblem Heroes. Here we are after our pretty interesting last match of the season. Definitely been a while since we had to do some ridiculous shenanigans like that, but <laughs> Mila just hitting enter on a defense tower is pretty comical, I use, if I don't say so myself. Things definitely would have been quite different if we couldn't snipe down the Dark Shrine, though. But, either way, we're way above tier th the tier 39 cutoff, of course, because we're scoring pretty strong. But, how strong did we do on defense? So, this week I decided to just meme around since we're plonking our defense score by using Sophus as our bonus defense mythic, meaning our defense is even more garbage than usual. <laughs> so I decided to meme even harder and give legendary Nana her rally, so she's going to attack even less in general, especially with generally how folks are going to approach her defense. There's absolutely no threat range on this team, so they can, people can just rain in attacks in range. There's really not much we can do here. Here it looks like they're probably trying to go after Sophus, but the meme one cooldown miracle actually does something, Kappa. And here they are going to attack in Sophus with Glimmer, which is not enough for the one shot. So she's going to survive the miracle meme. You've had your fun. Honestly, it doesn't mean much because it's Sophus. So, they're just going to leave like so, which clearly is not a good plan because they don't have any save unit here. So, not going to get danced. Of course. We're going to get our units coming in. Quad able to survive both attacks though because fast, so everything's all handy dandy right now, but the problem is of course we have Seleth lurking around, they need to be able to deal with Seleth, everyone else is pretty easy to deal with. So they decide to take out Rich Mary Nana, I guess that makes some sort of sense, but they are leaving Seleth's chilling around, win. so that's not good sign for them, they're probably not able to kill in that case. So this of course is going to get taken out by a green unit because that's the classic Sophus. Overall this season Sophus was not a problem for us at all, so we had a pretty chill time taking out all of the enemy Sophuses. With our squad. I won't lose. I believe we had a perfect team offense before the final match of the season. We did get relatively straightforward matches, so once again, not really much to show in terms of actual offense matches. But the last match was definitely interesting. Shouldn't obviously have taken that long to record, but getting progressively no more brain dead, so it's harder to keep track of things. And well, at the end of the day, what do you get to do? That? The last match is, I don't know, pretty, pretty fun. I will protect Definitely would have liked to be able to do our damage calcs more precisely, but down. so Dead tired, cannot remember numbers for the life of me. That's kind of the problem with doing daily damage help for me nowadays is that I just cannot remember all the numbers. It's pretty pretty hard. That should be just a clean finish here if we're going to take this match. Cause they should just be able to use any of their units to take out mills. Maybe legendary Clutch can't pick up the kill, but Even in the summer water. Dimitri here misses the kill would be incredibly embarrassing. <laughs> I should also mention that 
for the actual replay videos going forward. Unfortunately, we're going to be even busier than usual, which means sometimes we're going to just have to have the replay videos have minimal commentary, or there won't be commentary for parts of the video, for example, during when we collect our rewards for the season. That's probably the most likely scenario. So there's that. Here, our opponent has an interesting test, given that we have Rue support and we have a bunch of red units. It's definitely super logical. And we'll hear brown line. I won't of lose. Going to do a counter yet because of Luna. But nowhere near enough to pick up the kill. If you could get danced and, and attack twice again without getting one shot, then that would be great. But unfortunately, that's not how this works. So Henry is going to be able to proc her special. I apologize. To annihilate Remnant. Classic. Bramon just doesn't have enough HP in this day and age to have And here, legendary Nana, not able to take out Est in one round, and with her advantage, Iceberg, which is an interesting choice, but it's fine. He's able to pick up that skill, and so quite kind of an interesting thing to be honest. I've never seen advantage melee range Est before. But it definitely works theoretically because especially with a lot of enemy units using calves, it's probably pretty useful to have that as an option. Although the fundamental problem is the far save unit actually being able to handle all the ranged units. I think it's less of a problem for us, especially during light season. You don't see that many melee units that Either A won't die in one shot to S, or two can actually pick up the kill on her. <laughs> so, as you can see, though, we're pretty much just getting the same things as usual. That's the typical shenanigans that go down. Here they have column three bolts out. We'll see if they decide to break the catapult to preserve bolts out. It's not necessary for them at all. Looks like they did not choose to break the catapult, so again, that's perfectly fine, they don't need it. You don't even, the only thing that would cause them is potential wounds and mercy memes with Gremlin. So if anything, it might be better for the general gameplay if they don't go for the catapult snipe down. So there's that. Especially since they snipe down the healing tower before turn 3. Things might be different in that respect. Neo. But here, here is going to take out Sylvia. This is a common tactic people use, and definitely one of the better tactics. You're not going to isolate her, but they had no ice. I don't know. This is where the meme rallies and whatnot go down on legendary mana, making her really useless, but. It's your time to shine. And so <laughs> this is on their you really can't make it that great. We'll protect you. Always. We have Katria instead of legendary Donna. There's just no kill power on the team at all. So it literally wouldn't make much of a difference. Neo. We would have to kick out an entire mythic to go for Harmonized Katria and we wouldn't get much benefit out of it. Here, legendary Nana again, too slow to be able to double. It's a common theme for legendary Nana. That's the unfortunate thing about her. And of course, her attack only goes so high. So even though, so especially in this meta where debuffing attack during is super common, it definitely hurts for her drop damage to scale up her attack. Always. Here, Classic Sophos is going to die even though she had Miracle because she takes too much damage. <sighs> I and here, there's a 
humans is going to absolutely annihilate me. No question that. Now they're just going to piece their structures, so it won't be difficult. They can just take the time to have all the turns in the world and all the units in the world to pick up the kill. Getting a bit of lag all the time. Zero out of ten. But there we go. Another clean win for the opponents. Yeah, not entirely sure why we're lagging so hard all of a sudden, but we have plenty of storage space to record and stuff, but it's not that. I remember back when I was recording on my previous phone, that was a problem that happened a couple of times, but I wasn't paying attention to the next out storage. So the recording started to lag. <laughs> or something like that. And here, of course, our team is heavily red and blue, so naturally we're going to have a hard time against the enemy units here, far save and near save units. Brave actually doesn't defeat. have his hardy fighter set up, so he is going to take a decent amount of damage here, and Bram won't even survive, so that's about it. Let's say not a not a great match against the end of the game here, especially the world. since we can't debuff the end of the game. Within three spaces of an ally, and she also debuffs attack during by five, which may not sound like a lot, but it is a big deal when you're attacking twice and you're no longer you get dealt alone. damage and scales off when you're attack. It is a big deal in terms of damage. Wouldn't have changed the outcome of the battle though. Too much HP for <laughs> legendary Nana to deal with. Right. But now all of our units are at Prepare melee range, so it's just a ripperonies for us. Realistically speaking, if we want to make a better dark defense going forward, we are of course going to have to pivot off from infantry pulse. It's just this particular way we're designing our infantry pulse training is not great. Because you have two dead weights in your dancers, they're never going to really do much combat. And Celeth himself, as one of the top infantry force units in the ladder, also doesn't do too well during combat against the safe armors in particular. So, out of the seven possible units, we can use three of them are already dead weight. And if we're gonna go the all melee range means they're all, if we're running infantry pulse, chances are they're gonna be infantry units. There's not very many infantry units that can shred through near safe units reliably, so that is a problem. We just have to spam a bunch of Luna units or something. And even then, you have to get them all to attack, and that is definitely not feasible necessarily with just all infantry, it would end up just being not or something silly. And here we are, pretty straightforward win for a punt, just hitting in turn, good spots, and picking up kills later as needed. So, once again, the defense goes down, not a surprise though. And here we have a slightly more aggressive looking team. Have ourselves a guard summer Mia. Definitely useful to at least the enemy of retaliating with the special can definitely pose a problem. Although with her damage reduction it's less of a problem, it's more for units that mean damage reduction. For example, say a Deadeye dual chrom at one cooldown. This kind of Summer Mia would be able to survive the counter because he wouldn't be able to attack Jedi unless somehow he has, I don't know, Brave Lucina support on defense. Or, I don't know, Thor on defense. I am here with you. Too strange. Once again, our threat range is super low, so that's just a free snipe down pretty much. As long as they leave properly or go in. Take care not to burn. So it looks like they're going to go in aggressively here. 
Once again, Sothis getting one shot, not a surprise, it's Sothis after all. And there was guard as well, so the miracle wouldn't have procced anyways. That's the fundamental problem when we read and run attack speed form on here instead of clicking pulse that we didn't actually get up the miracle. I am here with you. And most of the time that is Tropical relevant. Attack. So Yeah, but it's Sophus at the end of the day, so we kind of don't care. Her Take remix care just burn. can't save her. They can literally stack the top ten Vanish most beneath the waves overpowered effects in the game for infantry units like no follow-up I am here with you speed based damage reduction null C disrupt and all, all all the other sorts of kinds of set effects along that design and she would still be terrible <laughs> give her plus eight plus I don't know plus eight to all set that's the typical sometimes you need to get plus 10 or whatever, it doesn't really matter too much. But yeah. She would need a crud time to actually be viable. Her main problem, of course, in this day and age, is besides dying to basically everything reasonable, she just cannot pick up kills. Especially against damage reduction, that is a huge problem for her. And not to mention, she's a mythic, so her low HP is just an absolute nightmare, especially when she has Sirius, which is a healing special that scales off of the low damage that she <laughs> does. It's not great. But again, we're just using her for support bottom, so that's about it. Safe defense here, don't think we're going to be using it in any way here. Gatekeeper, interesting choice. Definitely does make sense. If we had harmonized Catria on this team, for example, it would be much less effective. For example, Brownmon would have a harder time actually getting to attack. Or just having AI memes go down here. I take Brownmon are going to do Brownmon things. And actually, straight up cross Ray Pump. Miracle doesn't have any damage reduction here. And he misses the kill. Fashion. So, Brandmon comes into attack again, and Brandmon has Hardy Berry, so no vantage means. But Brandmon cannot pick up the kill. But the problem is now their miracle build is kind of screwed up. Legendary Nana also just doesn't care about the miracle means. So Brave Mark will have to be able, will have to be able to vantage kill. He's once again here he has to proc his miracle, but he gets a backup ready to go, which is great for him. All he has to do is pick up the kill legendary Nana here. And he can't do it. Now I do want to bring this up. Had this, they have this unit called Ash with opening retainer. This wouldn't have happened. <laughs> Legendary Nana wouldn't have gone to attack if that happened. So, uh, awkward. Of course, I don't know how Selif would have done, but they we're not gonna worry opening. about that scenario. So that's unfortunate. Legendary Nana barely able to survive to get that kill. And once again, Brave Hector means there's not really much we can do in the respect of nuking, especially hardy fighter Brave Hectors. Most of them are going to out HP us, of course, because triple mythic memes. And we are running triple mythic ourselves, it's just that they have access to this thing called summoner support for the extra plus five HP. So it's quite pretty straightforward for a hardy fighter, Brave Hector to out HP on even close by Nils. And even then they could just go and turn on bait. So I won't there's that lose. as well. Bram out of once again for and Moon and going to use quite a hefty amount of Brave Hector, which is nice for us. 
And legendary Nana can come in to finish them off. This is nice for us. Not so great for them. But you can see her damage output's okay. It's just not great. Not good enough to consistently pick up kills on blue units in particular. But even red units, we'll see her struggle just because, again, HP inflation is so good. And debuffing attack during combat. That is the phone. Alright, I think that's Team Kira. Gotta love spam calls. Heavy merges across the board for the most part. And here we are with the classic end turn incoming. This really is the dominant offense strategy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so this recording is going absolutely well. Feels bad, man. But this is the predominant strategy here. because your fire save unit and your save unit don't even have to go up to the skills. They just need to survive. And then during player phase, you can have your nuke units that were protected by your save units nuke relevant enemy threats. You get a healer, you can heal your damage save units and basically repeat. No longer alone. It's just a very straightforward strategy. The only way to beat that is to take down one of the save units. And typically, especially for our meme shenanigans, that involves focusing on the near save unit typically. They're much easier to take down than far save in general. No longer alone. Just because it's much easier to defend from range, in my opinion, than at melee range. But the thing with attacking the near save unit is all of your melee unit attacks will actually reach. Which is why it's not particularly great to do that either, but for us it's generally better to do that than trying to deal with far save unit. The blessings of Unless Mother we Earth. spam a lot of Luna then maybe, just maybe, we have a chance, but against Hardy Fighter, we're just too... Do... So, well, of course, nothing too great can happen here. The only problem with this kind of strategy is trying to grab the ether structures up time, but it's My not heart. too big of a deal as long as you save you units have enough mobility. To where you can say leave a dancer remaining and stall them out with your relevant save unit out of range. So for example, a lot of melee dancers I might stall with air or peony, typically air more often just because you can generally survive one combat right, better. Girl, but peony, if you can do it, it's better in general because air can HP back with Spark Plus for Peony, which is nice. But uh, it's pretty clear here that we're just going to get a ton of Brave Hectors. Not a surprise. We only have one unit from that range, which is... does not deter them from using Brave Hector, especially since we have so. the rest of our team is red and blue. It's just not a good. Team comp in general for new team blue units. At the very least, maybe having more blue units. Because Sothis is dead weight every single time. Self most of the time is dead weight. At times we'll pick up kills when folks don't play correctly. But once again, Sothis is going to get one run KO'd by Lin, and she doesn't even get to a counter at all. Duel Lin still had her second attack, even if Miracle was pre propped anyways, so it doesn't matter in that instance. Just gonna get AI memes going down here. Nothing too special. Corin's the coolest! <laughs> and so now they can just snipe down our units one by one. And cruising at this point. Nice plus 44 attack and plus 38 speed. Say that's pretty good. And they correctly realize that they could beam the AI. 
So because of the way near Trace works, Legendary Nana doesn't stay in place because there's more enemy threats on that tile than, say, moving up Your life one. Is forfeit. So that's why Legendary Nana moves that way. I don't know if they knew that, because of course, this Legendary Nana got danced on that tile Accept and, your punishment. and got to attack. Well, things would not go as well for our go for it. here, but all handy dandy for them here. And they're just gonna close it off presumably because it's pretty much end of the season, so they don't need to actually grab the ether structure. Grabbing all the ether structure at the end of the season is just reflexing. And here we are with another new king team of sorts. I haven't seen a lot of Summer Edelgards. I did run into her a few times during Astro season offense. I did not see her at all as far as I remember during our offense this week. And if we did, she was just not a threat at all. Which should not be the case, I would think. Step aside. I feel like she should be more of a threat to our meme squad. But... She does need distant counter to be in some form of distant counter to be annoying to us in that respect. But here we just got the usual hell of shenanigans, so the Yuri is just going to go down. Well, what, are we, what are we going to do next? Nothing because we just surrender. And here we are, overall terrible defense season, but that's to be expected because we use Sothis. It's never going to go well when we have Sothis, unless our opponents sabotage themselves so hard that we actually get away with it. In fact, we did so terrible we well, missed out. We're going to miss out on two dragon flowers, but don't care about the two dragon flowers. Anyways, looks like we're easily going to be in top 1k. I would genuinely be surprised if this wasn't at the top of the K. That would be absolutely insane. I've already seen resonant battles. We're not staying in interval. Or we're not going up to interval 20. And here for Arena here, it is kind of close. We did end up having to re-bless Summer Alincia to Earth give her an earth blessing so we could score enough. Zalfon's not scoring enough and we're certainly not building Orson for Grails. So, <laughs> so go for getting back into tier 21. I believe Adult Tiki is bonus next season so I we should be set for next season although it is water fire so Adult Tiki's already fire blast we might just end up using Legendary Villano and Company, but we'll see. Depends on the following season if it's worth for us to actually stay in tier 21. But I think we're just going to coast with this score. If we get, if we only stay in tier 20, it's not the end of the world. But it would have been more optimal. It would be more optimal for us to actually get in. I'm just too lazy to do a rerun. The matches are not difficult, it's just more of actually fishing for the matches. So, anyways, we'll be back when the results drop in.